Hi my friends, we continue where we left off with list methods. As you know, we already had a list and uh, I will continue on the same list. And uh, I'm going to create another list containing a few numbers. Let's do that. First of all, I want to talk about the min and the max functions. Min and max functions. They can be used for numeric and text expressions. Let's see what I mean right now. For example, I had a colors list here. I can get the max color according to alphabetical order. So if I write, for example, print max, and if I write the list colors here, and then if I run it, look at the terminal. We got the yellow here. Yellow is the nearest to Z. But if I change it from max to min, so let's run it, we get black. And the black is the is the, the color which is nearest to the letter A. We can also use the same function, I mean the min and max functions for numbers. So if I write the numbers here, and if I run it, we got the minimum number in this list because we used the a min function here. But if I change this to max and if I run it, we got 39, which is the greatest number in this list. The other function I want to talk about is sum. The sum function, I want to write sum here. The sum function is used to calculate a sum. Let's sum up the numbers, and I think you will understand better. We just write sum here. If I run it, we got 64, which is total of these numbers. So if you want to calculate it, you can you can do. If we give textual uh, expressions in a sum function, we will get an error. If we write colors here, here, we get an error. The sum function is used only on numeric things. Now let's take a look at the enumerate function. This function helps us to enumerate, I mean, the, the give a number the items in the list. So let's see how it uh, works. Let's say enumerate. If I run it, it printed the location in the computer's memory. So we have an object, but in order to see this object, we need to convert it to list, dictionary, or tuple type. Since we learned list in our previous lesson, let's convert it into a list. So let's do that. Just write list. Then we need to add a parenthesis. If we run it, we got it. This time I was able to access the items and the, the function has given a number to each of these items. We haven't learned it yet, but if there are comma separated values in uh, brackets, it is a tuple. And we are going to learn what it is in the following lessons. By the way, if you want these numbers uh, to start from different numbers, we can also specify it. Go back to the function and uh, I will specify it here. We'll just start and uh, we are going to give a start value here. So if I write 100 and if I run it, look at the terminal. This time the numbering started from 100. I also want to talk about the in keyword. In keyword. The in keyword allows us to check whether an expression is in the array or not. For example, I have a list here and uh, it, it could be very, very long list. If I just want to check if a color is in, I can do it like that. If you write a paint function again, for example, I want to learn yellow is in the in this list. So we can learn it just writing in keyword here and the, the name of the list or the list. If 
I run it, it gave me true. It means we have yellow in our list. So if I write something different, we will get false. And now I want to talk about the join method. Join method. Sorry, method. The join method is a method we use to convert our list to string. It is very simple to use. For example, we want to convert this list to string. For that, first of all, we need to specify what to separate the items with. So I want to separate them with, uh, for example, a space. We just have a space here. And then we write a join here and then inside the brackets we specify what we want to separate. So in our case it is colors. Of course I need to print it to see. Let's print it. Look at the terminal. We have divided the list into pieces and converted it to strings. We can also use different characters instead of a space. For example, if we use a hyphen and if I run it, look at the terminal. This time we have separated it with a hyphen. It is up to you with what you want to separate the elements of the list. We can also add a gap between them. For example, we can add a gap here so it looks better. We can, we can assign it to a variable, so let's say list to string, we can give any name. And then I want to print the type of it, just to be sure, list to string. If I run it, look at the terminal, it is a string. I think the following question is that, can we do the same process from reverse? I mean. Can we convert a string into a list according to special character? Of course, that is also possible. We do that with the split method. I'm going to show you. We use split method from string to a list. I will create a, a string expression here. So let's say example string and uh, I will write a lyric. Okay, we create the string here and uh, I, I I wrote a, a lyric from Eminem. Let's split the words of this string according to spaces. So we, we are going to convert it to a list. I mean, we will create a list from the uh, words here. So we, we are going to do that with split method. So let, let's see how can we do it. I will write a print function again. Then we write example string and uh, we are going to use split method. In the brackets, we determine according to what we want to separate, I mean what we want to divide. So we will do it with space, so I just write a space here, and uh, if we run it, look at the terminal. Now this is a list. We created a list from string. So the words inside these strings became an item of this list. I want to show another example. I will write some numeric expressions here. Just hashtag. And we are going to split it from hashtag. So if I write hashtag here, and uh, if I run it, look at the terminal. We have created a list. We split the string with a hashtag and uh, we got the numbers inside it. So we have the same numbers inside the, this list. Also, we have another option. If we don't want to split the whole string here, we can limit that with max split. So if I write max split here, and the, for example, I will write two, this time the split method will separate two times. So if I run it, look at terminal. It stopped here, so it didn't continue to separate the, the strings here. 
these methods that I just mentioned are the most used ones. I hope it was helpful and I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.